Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing El Diallo Valense 2, CS Herediano 2, 4 to 4 on aggregate, 5 to 4 on penalties. El Diallo Valense damn near sold on themselves, but they make the champions, or not the champions, they're already in the Champs Cup, the Central American Cup final. Second straight CONCACAF Central American Tournament final for them. They did make it easy on themselves, but they still made it. El Diablo Valencia, dos. Cias Herediano, dos. Esta noche, two. Cinco, cuatro, cuatro global, cinco. Cuatro penales en la Copa Central Americana de la CONCACAF. Semifinales, partido vuelta. They got it done. They, they got it done. They, they didn't make it easy on themselves, but they got it done. And the game went completely nuts. It was a, it was a crazy night. It was a crazy night. Eighth minute, Celso Borez gets the header off the corner. Pops the ball in. Top bends. 1-0. 1 a 0. 3 a 2 global. 3-2 on aggregate. Great header by Borges. And you think they got... They're smooth. They're smooth from there. No, it's not. 31 minutes later, in the 39th minute, Gerson Torres scores a banger, takes it himself, puts it top bins to make it 1-1. One, one, uno, uno. Tres a tres. Global. 3-3 three three on aggregate. Ala Valencia leads on away goals. Ala Valencia. Ganar. A la. Goles. Visitar. Halftime, 1-1, one, 3-3 one, three three on aggregate. Miedo tiempo, 1-1, 3-3 uno, uno, tres tres global. And then it gets nuts. A handball that was a phantom handball is given for a penalty in the 64th minute to Herediano. Ala Valencia is pissed off. Rightfully so. That was not a handball. And they're down a man, by the way, because... A sub that came on in the 42nd minute for Celso Borges gets a red card in the, 50, the 50th minute. Barely plays more than eight minutes on the pitch. Doesn't last but less than 30 minutes in game. Gets sent off. It's like one of those horses who gets scared to get into the gate at a horse race. You know, it's like you can't talk. You should have talked him down, but since you couldn't, he ain't racing. That's what happened. But penalty in the 64th minute. The penalty, the red card had nothing to do with this. BS handball, but the penalty is given. Everardo Rubio puts it to the other side. Makes Marrera bunny hop. He did that again later. One to two. Uno a dos. Tres a cuatro. Global, three to four on aggregate. And Herediano has the lead with some BS behind it. The fans are pissed. The players are pissed. Ala Valencia players start buzzing around like flies to try to get that equalizer to send this to a penalty shootout. And in the end, the 90 plus fifth minute, they missed a couple of chances before that. They could have put that away. But they get it. A penalty. Freddy Gondola is taken down as he's running in the box with a ball. He celebrates like it's no tomorrow, like he actually scored a goal after that penalty is given because they are that pissed off. And I thought they were about to jinx themselves in some way, shape, or form because he did that. No, they didn't. They didn't. 90 plus 5. Joel Campbell steps up to take the penalty. He smashes it home to make it 2-2. Two to two, Dos a dos. Cuatro a cuatro. Global. Four to four on aggregate. And... Two minutes later, we got full time. We're going to penalties. Two to two, four to four on aggregate. Dos a dos. Esta noche, cuatro a cuatro global. We go to penalties. We start with Miguel Basulto. Marrera makes the save. Nil, nil. Johan Venegas sends the keeper the wrong way. Makes it one, nil. Uno a cero. Alavalense. Elias Aguilar takes the shot. Down the middle, scores. Michael Barantes sends the keeper the wrong way. Two to one, dos a uno. Everardo Rubio once again makes Lionel Marrera bunny hop. 
Puts it the opposite way. Two to two. Dos a dos. Giancarlo Gonzalez smashes his penalty home. Three to two. Tres a dos. Jesus Godinez puts it down the middle. Three to three. Tres a tres. Alexi Gamboa scores his penalty to make it four to three. Cuatro a tres. Fernand Ferron score his penalty. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Pops it in. Sends it to a either sudden death or it's over, depending on what Alawalense does. Situation. Cuatro a cuatro. And then Joel Campbell goes up again and smashes the penalty in to make it five, four, cinco a cuatro. And they're going to go with it, even though... Herediano players think he stopped his run-up, which he didn't. It was a good penalty. It was in 5-4, to four, cinco a cuatro. Alavalense to the final. Alavalense avanza a la final de la Copa Centroamericana de la Conca Caf. They're in. They're in. Jeez, this match was crazy. But they're in. But they're in. Full-time stats, nine shots to 13, four shots on goal to five, 42% possession to 58, 260 passes to 384, 77% pass accuracy to 85, 13 fouls to 11, one offside to zero, six yellow cards to six, one red card to zero, six corners to six. Listen, Alawalense put themselves in this position, though. Let's not forget, they allowed Herediano to grow into the game. They allowed Herediano to dictate the pace. They put in a player who was as jumpy as a horse who don't want to get into the gate at a horse race. And for some reason, Karavik didn't calm him down when he had the yellow card. He's like, we already used our sub on you. You're our only central mid, or I'm the one, or you're the one that I trust the most. Calm the hell down. You don't want to get a red card. Like, you got a card a minute into coming onto the pitch. I'm going to talk to you at halftime if you're still on. I'm going to be like, you either calm the shit down. I'm going to give you 15 minutes. You calm the hell down or I'm pulling your ass instantly. I'm not risking a red card. Not with something this tight. And he did. Luckily, it didn't bite him in the ass, Karavik. Luckily, because if he didn't, if it did, they'd want his head and they've already sacked him before because he's been there before. And they, at that time, it was bullshit. That time, I didn't think he deserved to get sacked. He pulls that? Now that's deserveable. And it bites him in the ass? Talk your players down from the ledge. Come on now. You try to talk them down before you scratch them. Just like a horse race. They don't want to get in the gate. You got to give them a chance. If they don't want to get in the gate, you can't talk them down. You scratch them. They don't race. You make a change. You should have done that. It's, it's good advice, honestly. I don't know exactly what the hell. You got a player who gets a red card a minute in to them being on the pitch. You get a chance to talk to them, you calm their ass down. If it's at halftime, you got a better chance. And he still got a red card, second yellow. Hey, at least he's not a starter. That's the good thing about it. He's not a starter. Okay. Then the bullshit penalty. Then the penalty. Hmm, bullshit. Bullshit. That penalty was bullshit. Point blank period. I don't want to hear anything else. It was bullshit. No handball. So Herediano has the lead. And I... Damn, this game got crazy after that penalty. Alawalense was pissed off, rightfully so. But let's not forget, they did not play well tonight. They deserve to have to go this far. To have to go all the way. To get a penalty shootout and win. Like, they didn't play well tonight. They let Herediano stay alive way too long, and then they gave him the freaking advantage. They get a penalty, and then they wake up and say, what did you just do? And they get the penalty. They get a late penalty and score it and win a penalty shootout. Ala Valencia did not play that well. Now, do I think they'll be better in the final? Yes, because they're playing a team that... They may not be better at Estelle, if it's Estelle, but they should be able to win at home. You know? 
I still think they're the favorite, but I'm a little bit worried. You know, I'm a little bit worried if I'm an Alo Valencia fan after that performance. Herediano, I mean, you you played the way you needed to. You had a good game plan. You almost won. Luckily, that bullshit penalty wasn't the reason why you won. Alo Valencia got a more legit penalty, scored, won a shootout, and you're out. I hate to say it, but you deserve to be out. Not because, not because you deserve to lose, it's because that bullshit penalty should not have been the reason why you won. Now, if you won the shootout, I think everybody would have felt a little bit better. But even if Alawalense won, I still feel a bit hard done by. I don't know if the fans do, but I do. Because, Jesus, I mean, it seemed like the ref was on Herediano's side. Or he was just shit because, well, he did give Alawalense that penalty. So maybe he was just shit. But Herediano... You had chances and you didn't take them. Even after, even after scoring the penalty or before scoring the penalty, you didn't you didn't capitalize on being up a man. You're gonna be kicking yourself. You didn't play well either. This game was a absolute garbage fire of a game. Not because it was bad, but because of the situation. You know. It wasn't bad. It was entertaining, but it was a, a crazy situation. More like a pyromaniac. It's not really a garbage fire. It's a pyromaniac. Being a pyromaniac. Yeah, that's better. So, with that being said, Ala Walense, you go through, I don't know if you exactly deserve to, on the night. Throughout the tournament, you do. I still think you're the favorite in the final, no matter who you play, but you got to do better than this. Like, you have to be more serious. Like, you have to buckle down and kick ass. Simple as. Herediano, seeing Champions Cup. Commiserations. Well, that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribe. Send it for chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put it to play. Share friends and family. All that great stuff. I shall see you tomorrow for a live watch along of both Mocha FC, SV Robin Hood versus Mocha FC in the Caribbean Cup. We'll know our finalists in third place then. And... Club Atletico Independiente versus Real Esteli live in RSR, Central American Cup, second semifinal. We'll know who faces Ala Valencia at the end of the night. And we'll know who's in the Caribbean final and third place at the end of the night. So there you go. There you go. So with that being said, congratulations, Ala Valencia. Felicidades, Ala Valencia. Commiserations, Herediano. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace.